right, you guys. I'm uh, like cause this time review is gonna be just a little bit delayed, almost. So a lot of she's gonna be like jumbled up and then kind of catching up at the end. Cause like I say, I fucking broke the uh, little tripod for the phone that I've been using, and fucking something's going on with my Xbox. So I disconnect the fucking uh, HDMI cable, put it back in the damn TV. Like crazy shit, crazy shit. So. All right, let's just go ahead and first and foremost, can, can we all just, just clap because the motherfucking season finale is tomorrow, or well, not tomorrow, next Sunday, and pretty sure a three-part reunion, so we're done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, so we have sex talk between um with the Tucker family, you know, because they checking on the baby, this, that, and third. And you got Jacket talking to them about how pretty much telling Ty that he can fuck candy while Joyce is in right there. <laughs> fuck it awkward, right? But I will say it is very eerie to see the relationship, but part of like part of me thinking that they were just put known for the put on since Jump Street, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about that because I don't know. Um Kim is with her coach <clears throat> and you know even the whole Kenya project got brought up initially I was just like you know what well, she's handling this very maturely she could have easily just said you know that this is a good project but I don't like I said I don't think that I am a good fit for this project but I think she exposed way too much and the situation like that I mean shit like that can sort of kind of fuck up your credibility when you're talking about business them checks and everything else because like you're not saving face and starting to be a little nice nasty. Well, she was being nice nasty, but still, like, I think, I know a lot of people would probably disagree with me saying that um, she did good. Not me, personally. Um, apparently, a policy at a brand new facility on a military installation. We gonna see how the fuck that shit go. Like I said, we, I'm just giving y'all the shit right now. We ain't gonna be here. Hopefully, y'all not here long. So you got Mac, uh, Kenya, and Lori at her house. He's working. And now Lori... I'm I'm assuming this is her first time meeting Matt and you know um she feels kinda way because she didn't know. Uh I wouldn't have told your motherfucking ass either. Actually, I wouldn't be talking to your motherfucking ass because you not finna come in my motherfucking house sitting here telling me how the fuck to feel about my relationship with my deadbeat mama. Cause I'm about to say, I don't think you do. Well you feel the kind of way about uh you feel that you should know about who I'm dating? I don't think you do. That would have just been me. I'm I'm petty and shady as fuck, so I mean that just is what the fuck it is. Um and I didn't like how she uh Lori was talking about somebody's financial status. It ain't all about the fucking finances. <clears throat> but if he's taking care of himself, if he is self made and the fact that he has, you know, humbling background, that should be good the fuck enough. He may not be able to sit here and give her the fucking world, but here's the thing. And ladies, y'all let me know down below. Do you care more about a man giving you the world? Do you care more about a man fulfilling all of your fucking needs and not necessarily your fucking wants? Anyway, Horsha on the phone, business partner. Trying to say now she was trying to say it wasn't set in stone, but then she was but she was saying it wasn't set in cement. But I don't know if the t got out because it sounded like C men and her sister wasn't fucking helping. And Johnny on the phone is like, Do you mean set in stone? Because she's like, I, I keep wanting to say semen, like she got semen on the brain. Okay, I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit nicer today. Moving the fuck on, we get to see <clears throat> how the commercial is going to look, and like I said, it is uh. Like I said, it's speculated we're going to see the commercial at the fucking reunion. Again, what the commercial that we saw and what was pitched don't look shit the fuck alike. But again, I'm going to reserve all my comments for the full fucking, uh, you know, thing. So we'll get there. And if y'all wondering, that that's uh, bleach on the shirt. Again, hey, I don't fucking matter. I'm just going to spill my own tea, you know, whatever. Uh, Candy and Phaedra talk about the trip. And, you know, Phaedra wants to sit here and say... Um, Kenya was faded, you know, by Nene showing up, but were you not faded? Were you not faded when it seemed like, because you saw her coming, you didn't know she was there, but you know, again, fake she like to put on there, so it is what the fuck it is. Now, Candy says, well, I wouldn't have been Sheree, I wouldn't have been breaking bread and getting back close with Nene, seeing how what happened between them, and of course, Bravo showed the flashback, but you getting back in the bed with, uh, Fake trail. Okay, Candy. 
I right, Candace, but I, I see you trying to make sure you got a spot for next damn season. And Horsha photo shoot now. Of course, the whole her and Cynthia, because Cynthia was there and that shit being kind of crazy. And I was even giving some side eyes. One thing that I will say, I can respect, and y'all, I know y'all, for those of y'all who know I don't fucking like Horsha, y'all better get ready because I'm going to say it once. I can respect her and respect the fact that she showed different body types of women. You know, showing, you know, a skinny, thick Cynthia Bailey, uh, you know, thicker. Uh, then you have her being thicker and then having a thick gums. On the, so I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. So, you know, I said it. There you go. There you go. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this up. But ooh, look like next week gonna be a little bit good. We might have a we might have a good season finale, but I'm not gonna give my hopes up. So, uh, Matt Gear, they're talking. Um, she brings up I guess living situations. Has he ever lived with women? He did say yes. Uh, I think two. The last one didn't work because uh, she was trying to pressure him into doing something he didn't want to do, or kind of like pushing the issue. Kind of reminds me of what's going on with Katie and fucking uh, Andrea. On Potomac, which I'm actually watching the intro to, so I'm trying to speed this shit up so I can watch this on time. Uh, <laughs> um, but you know, they talk about kids, you know, and he's there for it. He's not running for the hills. She didn't talk about what she's been going through, and he is still there. And again, it's rumored that she is pregnant, so we'll see what happens. And Fatra took the kids to go see Apollo, but here's the thing does anybody else get the feeling that this was just for TV because she ain't gonna do it the fuck again? Mm-hmm. But that's all that I have you guys. I rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. My training time is video more than likely. If not, it'll probably be up tomorrow. So but I've already have it transcribed. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.